I'll show you a program that is used to join a table with the internal table. So in this requirement, for example, assume that we have some data in, in one internal table and we have to select a data based on that internal table, right? So the input data is in an internal table. Using that internal table data, we have to select the further data. This is my scenario. Clear? Yes, sir. So for that, I'll just write one sample program. First, I'll select some data from select uh, EVLN. I just will select up to some hundred rows. What it will do? It will select first hundred records of the table without using any condition, right? Yes. So what is my requirement? So based on this internal table data, I have to select a further data. I have some data inputs in this internal table. Using this internal table data, I have to select the further inputs. So what is the available uh, methods to do that? For example, assume it as a header table. We can use for all entries, right? Yes. If yes, sir. S -Y -F yes, sir. C so bar C is equal to zero. And if so first condition is true, sub r c equal to 0 means there is some record, sort, sort. Second, this is second condition, sort the lt underscore e k k o by e b l n. Next. Delete from LT underscore EKKO LT underscore EKKO comparing EBLN next write your next level set statement select EBLN EBLN mens yeah let's take one of the things Table and table at the rate of data. For for all entries, the same. For all entries. In 
So this is the method how you select let's say we have some data in the internal table so by using that internal table data as input selecting the further data since to select MAKT M, uh, L, uh, vendor number you have to write two more select statements like this right yes, sir. now observe how we are going to replace these multiple select statements with a single join without using for all entries how can we avoid for all entries here so in this scenario to select uh, data for a header internal table next level data for example item le item level data for a header data we have to use for all entries let's see how we can achieve it using join now we have data is in internal table right data is already there in internal table we have to select uh, next level regards for only those uh, header level internal table data select EBM EBM use alias names okay sir it up right Let's take only two tables. Material, material text is enough. Okay, this data is enough okay. for me. From EKPO as as inner join. Which one? Inner join. Uh, EK e LT underscore EKPO. Provide the internal data. We are joining internal table data with the EKPO data. Right? On. EKPO. Sir, EKPO. We the mention share with us, sir. Which one? Hmm, the next level, right? first, first, let's. Provide the condition, join condition for the first level. Okay. Okay, sir. EKK will be now. Okay, empty underscore EKK will be now. Interpret. Next level. In two table. In that oh, join. Join. Right? In that join. 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 In join. condition. If you have any specific wear condition, you can use it. Wear. Or I'm not using any wear condition here.
LT underscore with the cover is not a collaborator table. One second. Uh, from let's try like this. Select star from EKKO internal table. Not join. EKKO check. Alias name. Mm. Let's do like this. Or we'll take as A B C. Okay, so use like this alias name is missing. So for internal table, alias name is mandatory to use internal table in your join. You have to use like this select fields from EKKO. We'll also add uh, fields from uh, this table also if required. Like C. What are the fields we have and see in uh, EKKO bookers? Okay, clear. So use like this. If you are using internal table in the join, use like this. Use alias name mandatorily. Okay and use uh, escape symbol so instead of table we are using an internal table data whatever the data available in an internal table we are joining that with the ekpo table clear so in the previous versions it is not possible to use a uh, internal table data in joins <coughs> is it clear yes now it's selected corresponding data of the first ever internal table Okay. Again, it's showing duplicates. Why? Because mm -hmm. we are not using MAKT. No, not MAKT. It's pass condition. Ah, other sir. 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 That's it. Whenever you have an internal table data, you can avoid for all entries. You can just go with join. Okay. To select the next level data for that internal table. So what is the exact scenario? When you are working on a program, you have some data in one internal table. You have some data in already. There is some data selected to one internal table. 
based on that internal table data, you have to select uh, further data. Okay? At that, at that, in that scenario, what are the two approaches? You can use for all entries using the existing internal table data as a header internal table data. Otherwise, you can use joins. Okay? Clear? Yes. So it is also expecting to keep this into right at the end when you are using internal table as a join. Okay. So this is the data. This is how you can join internal table data with a database table. Clear? Alias names. Okay.